this city has an incredible wealth of illustration talent. It's, it's quite extraordinary. I mean, there are world-class illustrators all over this place, all over the city, writers, illustrators. Um, and we've been able to tap in uh, to some of, those, some, of those, some of that talent and actually bring it here. We have uh, illustrators like Daniel Minter, who's you know just very well known for his both for his children's books, but also for his painting and gallery work. We have Jamie Hogan, who is you know a, uh, who is a wonderful uh, children's book illustrator as well. She also has done a lot of editorial work. Uh, Marianne Lloyd, who has done work for Nickelodeon and for a number of different entertainment companies. Rob Sullivan, who's got a tradition, a traditional sort of painting background. The instructors that we've gathered here are, I, I keep on getting surprised every day when I realize that they're as big as they are, you know, and that kind of experience being brought to us is fantastic. I find that they're all really dedicated to what they do and you can email them any time of day and they'll get right back to you if you just email sketches or questions and they spend a lot of time in the building and every event and, and being involved. We're able to pull in that sort of diverse talent to work with our students here and what's really interesting is almost in every case these illustrators have been really interested in coming here and being a part of what's going on here at Mecca. I think the nature of the department itself allows for uh, different levels of expression uh, as far as image making is concerned, but it's always the context in which it's made that makes it illustration. Like, you know, in some classes we're doing character design type things, in some classes we're doing editorials, in some classes we are making maps. Everyone's just really welcoming and it's so small that you can get a chance to know everyone and everyone's work, which is really awesome. Students really respond to that um, and they don't feel like they're just kind of part of an audience and you're sort of speaking in generalities. I think you can get really specific uh, really quickly and uh, the benefits are very immediate. You know, I really want to do children's books and I have a few teachers who have published many children's books and that's, a, that's really important to have their experience and their advice doing that. There are people that are out there doing this stuff and they're still doing it now and they're going to continue doing these things for a while and it really validates to me what I'm learning here because I feel like I, like I know that I'm really getting from them what they have, the best that they can offer and the best that the, world, the art world can offer to us. The intimate quality here is something that I think is very attractive and I, th I would dare say very effective. We're able to really sort of sit down, uh, assess what the what the core competencies are of our students, uh, balance that with what their drive is and what their personal style is, what, where their desire is uh, relative to illustration, and help guide them towards that, towards, towards creating well a professional grade portfolio that will allow them to find work when they leave here. That's a major part of what we do in illustration. We find work. <laughs> for illustration, it's really client-based and important to have a context for it. So Portland Support has already, I've gotten like published in Maine Magazine or some jobs for like Port City, doing venue posters and stuff like that that lets me practice working with people and having turnarounds and dates that are actually in the real world outside just projects. I think that we have built over the last 10 years one of the strongest illustration majors in the country. I can't think of any other, any other school in the country that's doing quite what we're doing here at, at Maine College of Art.